April 18, 2017. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to Canex TV. Independent reinsurance broker Holborn has beaten larger rivals to win the account of uh, Fosun owned insurer Meadowbrook. Fosun is a Chinese insurance company, Meadowbrook is its subsidiary. Uh, the Insurance Insider is reporting that the different treaties that make up the Meadowbrook account had previously been placed by a number of brokers said to include Guy Carpenter, JLT Re, and, and uh, Holborn as well. Apparently now the New York-based uh, reinsurance broker Holborn, which is an independent broker, will be responsible for the whole placement. It's believed that Holborn will instruct JLT Re to handle portions of the account that are placed into the Lloyd's market. Holborn does not have a Lloyd's subsidiary. Details of the amount involved of, a whole, of Meadowbrook sessions are not immediately available, but in 2014, its last full year as a public company, it ceded about $177 million of business to reinsurers. Uh, it said in the Insurance Insider article that Carpenter, Willis, JLT, and BMS are all said to have pitched for the U.S. insurer's account. Travelers Insurance Company led a group of affiliates suing two Saudi banks, several charitable groups, and family interests of Osama bin Laden, seeking $4.2 billion in losses stemming from the September 11, 2001 terror attacks in the U.S. The suit was filed in federal court on April 12th. Uh, the insurers are claiming that the National Commercial Bank and the al Raji Bank, along with other defendants, aided and abetted al-Qaeda uh, by uh, providing uh, funds to them. More than 800 relatives have sued the government of Saudi Arabia last month. This case did not sue the government, it has sued banks. Uh, it claims that the banks were aware that uh, funds were being diverted into charitable institutions in Saudi Arabia and elsewhere. Uh, that had the avowed purpose of funding the Al-Qaeda terror group. According to the uh, lawsuit, uh, as much as $30 million a year uh, was, provi was provided to Al-Qaeda by the banks. The chief Chinese insurance regular, Zhang Zhanbo, has been officially removed from his post. Uh, this has been rumored now for several weeks because he had been arrested. He's now been officially removed for serious disciplinary violations. Um, this is uh, something that uh, the 60-year-old, who is the highest-ranking financial regulator to be drawn into a government crackdown on corruption, uh, cannot be pleased about. Speaking of Chinese insurance regulators, the New York-listed life insurer Fidelity and Guarantee, F&G, has backed out of a $1.6 billion agreement to be acquired by the Chinese insurance company Anbang Insurance. Uh, Anbang had sealed a deal to acquire F&G back in November of last year, actually in November of 2015. This has been going on for a while, but it's been forced to extend the deadline repeatedly after struggling to secure regulatory approvals. It would not be the first time that a Chinese insurer has struggled to get U.S. acquisition uh, pet plans through the U.S. regulatory maze. Also, last month, the uh, Chinese government indicated its intention to crack down on overseas capital flows with all deals in excess of a billion dollars coming in for heightened security. So it may not have only been the U.S. regulatory maze that was causing problems. It may have been some pushback as well from Beijing. British Prime Minister Theresa May, in a surprise announcement just several hours ago, has called for an early snap election, a general election to be held on June 8th of this year. Um, she says she will go to Parliament tomorrow to seek approval for the early election. She claims that she needs the election because other parties are opposed to her Brexit plans to leave the EU. She had previously said there would be no snap election. Commentators said that uh, May has rolled the dice. She is taking her gamble. She wants to increase her majority and her mandate to lead the country through Brexit. At least 24 people have died in the Philippines today when a bus plunged into a deep ravine in the northern mountain town of Caranglan. The ravine was about 75 uh, feet deep. The bus plunged after its brakes failed while traveling on a windy road. Yesterday, five people were killed when a small plane crashed into a supermarket near Lisbon in Portugal. All four members on the uh, all four crew members on the plane were killed, as well as a person on the ground. 
the plane had taken off from uh, an uh, airport in Tiraz, about 12 miles west of Lisbon. It was a Piper PA-31 Navajo aircraft based in Switzerland and was apparently headed for Marseille, France. Earlier today, uh, Vijay Malia, uh, an Indian businessman who has been declared by the country as a willful defaulter on loans for his Kingfisher Airlines, was arrested in London at the request of the Indian government. He's due to appear in a uh, court later today. A special Indian court in June of last year declared Malia, the former beer baron, Kingfisher Beer, um, as a uh, offender in a number of defaults that uh, he had arranged loans for uh, his airline, Kingfisher Airlines. Maya has claimed that Kingfisher was an unfortunate commercial failure. There was nothing intentional involved in defaulting on the loans. It was simply a business matter. He says, I, without a trial, I uh, cannot prove my innocence. Apparently, he's going to have a trial now. Extradition hearings in court uh, are expected to begin as early as today when he appears. A consortium of 17 banks accuse him of willfully defaulting on more than $1.4 billion of debt accumulated by the airline. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.